I'm joined in the studio by a woman who spent five years working at Europe's Central Bank. Today, she's senior economic advisor to the Ernst & Young Eurozone forecast. Marie Dyron is here with me now. Thank you very much for joining us. So, you speak in the report about there being this north-south divide. So, in other words, countries like Germany and France gaining momentum, while Italy, Spain, Greece, Portugal have weaker fiscal positions. Uh, and they will have to, to focus on reducing their budget deficit. So, I mean, are we going to see a growing divide in growth? That's right, that's what we expect and really the reverse of what we had really before the crisis where the south was growing relatively fast while the north was lagging behind. So now we're seeing the north gaining momentum as you say, not in a very strong way but more robust growth while the south is, is heading for zero or even negative growth for, for some years. Now, EU minister, finance minister meeting, as, as we said today, in Madrid to discuss Greece again. Um, apart from the bailout, they're going to be addressing issues about uh, imbalances, about uh, the difference in competitiveness between European countries. How difficult is it going to be to close that gap? It is going to be very difficult. It is going to be a very painful years for, for a large number of countries that will have to, to go through some wage deflation. There's no way around. They need to regain competitiveness. These, these fiscal deficits or twin with uh, very very big uh, co problems in competitiveness terms and they need to regain that to get growth growing over the medium term so I mean given that it's going to be difficult to to bring all these European states into alignment is a single monetary policy between countries with such contrasting levels of competitiveness at all viable or indeed sustainable at this point the ECB will have a tough time in the, in the years ahead because of these growth differentials. But the, the monetary union has really helped the, uh, the, uh, the zone as a whole. Uh, without that, we probably would have had already devaluations with, with damaging effects for, for the north as well as the south. So this is what really is, uh, is keeping the countries together. And it's interesting because Germany's growth uh, or emergence from recession has been very much export-led. But I think something like 65% of their exports are to European countries. Now, with that in mind, how will austerity measures for in countries like Greece and Spain and the fact that these southern states, as you say, will remain in recession for a while impact on the stronger economies of Europe like Germany? That's true. Weaker domestic demand in the south will have an impact on, say, German export performance. Now, the, the strength of export, exports in Germany has really come from outside the eurozone, uh, mainly in the last few years. So that, that we think will remain. And if the south really uh, manages to get its act together and correct these imbalances, then that would be beneficial for, for the eurozone as a whole. So in practical terms, what does that mean for eurozone interest rates? Will they stay lower for longer? We, we do think that interest rates will stay at this level, certainly throughout this year and even probably sometime at the beginning of next year. And the ECB will proceed with very gradually the removal of liquidity, but in terms of interest rate policy, we don't see any, any inflationary risk for, for some time to come. And as, expect, as expectations rise for the U.S. to start tightening monetary policy, how is that going to affect the euro, which has already lost more than 5% against the dollar since the beginning of this year? Yes, we, we do think that the euro will trend down lower, uh, not only because of interest rate differentials, also because of growth differentials, which uh, the two are related, of course. But we have a forecast of around 3% for the U.S. Uh, this year versus 1% for the eurozone. So that will, will tend to um, uh, have a, put pressure on the euro.